Tahi rōpū Māori kei te tai rāwhiti, te kōkiri rāhui ki runga i te tahi mahi taunaha hinu wenerau e kia nei ko fracking. A hakoa ngā whakatau a ngā umanga pūngao e meana he haumaru, kei kona tonu ngā mā nuka nuka kei raru te tai au. A nei, a kāli he mopo. Koe nei nga waka ua mai te pakipu meka a Gasland. I te tūai te pua u mo te kaupapa wā wati toka, uri noa i te au wānui, tai noa mai ki au te aroa nei. Tata ki te rua ngā uru tau tēnei mai e aereana ki te roe o Taranaki. E oti e a tēnei mea, te wā wati toka. Technically, it's called stimulation or hydraulic fracturing, and it occurs thousands of metres below the ground. After drilling takes place, a mix of water, sand and various chemicals are then injected at high pressure inside the well. The compound fractures the rock, which frees up the gas. The casing helps prevent the valuable resource from seeping out. Kei te waka au tonu ngā kamupine kere inu e wai me te one pū te nuingo te kū te rewa wati toka a e pai noe o nga matsu ka wero ia ki roto i te uenua. A koa te rā e a wangawanga nui tonu tō e te i e a ngai ana ki te tuku paruparu ki roto i te wai me te mai rū uenua. Kaore rawa te kaune e rā aro e o Taranaki i tonu atu ki ngā kamupene kere inu, kia aro mai ki ngā tikanga a te ture o ka aere rawa, au ngā nō te tono mo te wai me te waka wātea i te paru, i nāe nei kua uri te tai. Due to public pressure and apparent negative media attention, after more than 20 years, the Taranaki Regional Council has declared that all fracking activity will now go via the resource consent process. Koa katoa nga Daisy Noble e uri o nga rua i nerangi tete i o nga iwi tuatai i tonu atu ki te rōpu wakamana i te tiriti o waitangi mō ngā mana ki ngā rawa inu. Mā ngā tika ngā whai rawa ka tiro ia ngā mai a ngā kamupene he o tikari ia e wakapuno ka atarango nga ngā a wangawanga a ngā iwi. They take no notice of the concerns that we express. Nā Daisy mātau i hari ki tete i o ngā rua para tawito rawa o Taranaki ki te tonga. Kua ua ngā uru tau i nāe nei, tēnei wā i e waka maia e wā i tuku i ngā paru i mā ue mai ai i te mai keri inu. One of the things that we were assured of was that the toxins that were in the drilling muds at the time was very low. The point is that any toxin is not good. I mean, look how green it is out there. What's hidden below the surface? We don't know those things. E ai ki te te i pūrongo kāta i anō ka wakarewa ia e te kauni era aro e o Taranaki. Kā re e tino mō rea rea te maipa wati toka, a koa e ki ana, te rāpea ka paruparu te wai i tēnei mai. It is unlikely that contaminants will reach overlying freshwater aquifers. However, although unlikely, it isn't impossible. Kā re tino tāwiti atu, tutu wai te pua ui ngaere, a ko te mai wāpati toka a tag oil te take, e rangi kua tau te wairu o te hapū o a itai. What steps have you taken to make sure that the environment is sound in that area? Um, I've actually gone out to the sites um, and asked questions to the drillers, um, made sure that there was no ke- um, chemicals in that use and made sure there's because you have to be so many feet away from the actual uh, waterways in that and make sure that our tuna and all that was safe. E rangi ki tā te rūnanga, kāore rātau i whai wā i ki ngā tono mo te mai iwa wati toka. You know, to be really honest, we were not engaged um, in any, uh, I guess, process because they were non-notifiable. We are not identified um, by regional council as being affected parties. And Auntie Laura um, alluded to it, you know, we don't, we're actually not seen as landowners. Mm. And that's a really unique position for us in Taranaki, um, particularly for us in Ngāti Rūnui, um, to deal with, is that we may not have our name on the title, but the, um, the feel with Huenua and, and the, the water, our maunga, is still exactly the same as, um, as if Murudaupatu had never happened. Kua iki te mai wā wati toka a tang oil ki Taranaki, e rangi pērā i ete i atu kamupene kei te uri te aro ki te tai rāwiti. 
kua to ua e te ngoi o ki ona kai waka ngao, pia nge e ngā uru mā wā piriona ngā kā o hinu kai te takiwa o te tai rāwiti. E nai nei pia kua rereke ngā wakaaro ki ngā kā o hinu ko ta i rau miriona kai te rapu tonu ia ki Taranaki. Kei te tiro ia e te kauni e rā āro e o tūranga nui a ki wā o nga kaupapa kiri inu. E rangi e wakaaro a nō tō e te i o ngā kai kauni e rā e a ki e te kaupapa nei. A group of us have uh, got together and organised a petition asking the local council here, the Gisborne District Council, to uh, put a ban on the, the practice of fracking uh, until such time as we've got independent verification that it's not going to harm the environment or human health. I've written to the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment and asked her to undertake an urgent inquiry into the practice and regulation of fracking in New Zealand and I'd have confidence that she will do a thorough job of that. She's independent, the organisation's independent of um, both the industry and government. I guess the issue at the moment is central government aren't doing anything about that. They're encouraging uh, fracking and, and uh, extraction. So in the meantime, what we can do is focus on local government where people are most affected and can have the most influence, I guess. So the parliamentary commissioner is like E wā nei tēnei nō wā tā tūtū, ā e ngā nāna rātau ki te tāmoko i tāiwa rārangi ingoa. Kua tāi kē mai nā kamupene ki roto i tō rātau roe. Ka hara mai rātau i rungi i rātau waka rere rangi ātāhua, i rātau taraka tino ātāhua. Ka kōrero ati ki te iwi, a nei ngā rawa mō koutou, me whakaia ara ka noho pai koutou. E ngā rikāre rātau e mōhio ngā mahi i i i muri e rā whakaaro. People today just take everything on face value and a lot of our people don't even want to embarrass themselves by asking the question so they nod wisely and say, oh, well, get to pay. If fracking takes place, it's definitely going to interfere with our water table. I mean, we already have issues with drinking water here in Whātātūtū um, because of the, the silt, because the water comes from the river. And so we're already dealing with um, quality issues. E rite anō te rā ui o tēnei mai ki e te iatu uinua uri noa i te ao wānui. E rangi me wai tautoko tonu tēnei rā rangi ingoa, kia wai mana ai ki tūranga nui ākiwa o ti āki ao te arua wānui nei. What is the bottom line for Ngāti Rūnui? I guess what you're asking is, do Ngāti Rūnui oppose fracking? Ngāti Rūnui oppose anything that's going to destroy its environment. We have been affected for the past 100 plus years, certainly the whole of Taranaki. I know that there are many, many other iwi that have the same resource in their whenua. As yet, they're unexplored. But believe me, the crown's coming. Hea i ki te uepū taunaha whakaputa ko hinu o Aotearoa, kei te pai ki a rātou ki a arotake hia te hātepe fracking. Hei tā rātou ki a mātou. Local NGOs and Mr Caddy have been unable to point to any damage which has occurred. All they have is overseas evidence of damage. Their attempts to scare people by saying this will happen in New Zealand are both unfounded and not based on any evidence. There are risks. We have never denied that but they are all manageable, provided companies follow good engineering practices. 